be a little bit short so let's start with a quick check um, alright so if you recall from uh, last time that uh, we have a sub goal okay you wanna be able to say that uh, for all positive composite integer n and every dev divisor a of n such that a is large that is larger than square root n otherwise um, we would have find a right we would have let at some point i would be equals to a and then i would divide n and the algorithm would return f correctly false right so now n is large and we want to be able to say that uh, b for which we define them to be uh, uh, n over a um, is going to be small okay so um, so this is the the revised statement so I, I just removed b because otherwise it would be more variables to to work with okay right so how can we write this as as uh, a quantifying uh, propositions uh, proposition okay so please pause the video and try to work on it a little bit for a few minutes and if you can figure it out then you can continue the video otherwise you should think about it it's not that hard okay so please pause All right, so there are many ways to write this. Uh, you can, uh, if you look at this, uh, for all positive composite integer n's. So we can uh, say for all n in some set which are positive composite integers, right? But that would be uh, we need to define some other sets. So I would I would make this uh, this as a uh, predicate. So okay. So I have predicate p that takes uh, n. Let's say n is a positive composite integer. Okay. Now um, uh, every divisor. Uh, a of n so uh, I need another predicate okay but this one will be uh, we have two variables so I have another predicate Q so the first one is P the second one is Q okay uh, let's 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 let me write here Q n and a so this says a is a positive integer um, that divides n such that square root n is a at most a is less than n oh it's is is uh less than a so it'd be a little bit long okay so i i have two predicates p and q okay and the last one is this okay so let me define it here p q r okay i, I would have this uh solutions ha handed out so that it's easier to read but just bear with me for now so I would have R of B, right? It would say that um, B and, and N, sorry. B and N. So it would say uh, 2. It is at most b. You may get confused why I pick b here. It's just a variable, so I would pack n over a in here. And this at most square root n. Okay? And if you combine them all, I would say that it would be like this for all. So our universe would be integers, so I would leave it out. So for all n, 
and for all integer a okay we have that pn and q and a so we consider uh, positive integers n which are composite right and a is such that n uh, n is divided by a and a is in this range and this would imply that b in this case b is n over a right n so this implies that n over a um, is in this range so this is the statement of our sub goal might look a little bit uh, long but that explains why it's pretty hard to write out in the first place okay so this is one possible solution you may come up with others and we will discuss about this in class to see if uh, your solution is also correct and there are many ways to write anyway all right all right um, so let's move on okay so uh, the last topic I would like to talk about is the negation of quantified propositions okay so it's not if you try to remember it uh, it's not that hard but uh, if you understand it, it then you don't need to remember at all okay all right so let's let's start by some example okay so if you have a set of positive integers z plus okay and we have a, a predicate px which say x is a prime number okay and then uh, with after we can define px with uh, for all x in the set we have a propositions okay and is this proposition true like for all x in in the set of positive integer everything is prime number it's a prime number this is false right so how can we show that this is false I'll let you think about this for a few seconds but you can pause if you need more time alright yeah when you have uh, a uniform universal quantifier like this say that everything right for px is true is true for every x so to say that this is false we need to find uh, in mathematical term we call it a counter counter example these are the some example that contradicts this uh, this claim okay like in this case we can just say uh, p4 right p4 is a positive integers and p4 is false right 4 is a positive integer so this is one just one guy right that that makes p x uh, false then you can say that this is not true now okay so um, if this is not true then it means that uh, if you want to disprove this statement okay it's like we need to show that something is true instead of this right so we need to find something that contradict this so it's uh, we need to say that there exists some x right such that px is false okay so to disprove this statement or to show that this statement is false we need to say that this is true okay so to say that this is false we need to say that this is true so it means in a way this is the negation of this uh, statement right because uh, if this is false then this is true if this is uh, true then this has to be false right because you cannot disprove it okay now let's look at another quantifying uh, proposition uh, so I have this if x is larger than 2 then x square is at most 2x now suppose I have this proposition P uh, there exists some X in in the positive at, uh, which are positive uh, which is uh, positive integers such that QX is true okay so how can we show that this is false we can try yeah let, let I'll let you think a little bit you can pause all right okay so we can try the same approach uh, by finding some X such that qx is false okay but if we can do that uh, say uh, say let's say x equals 
3 in that case uh, x is larger than 2 right but x square which is 9 is not you know 2x is 6 right so this is false so x x equal 3 uh, is, is a counter sample of qx right so q3 is false but by finding one counter example are we uh, so so are we successful in in saying this statement is false or not not quite right because this say that the x is 1x just you need 1x okay that make q true qx to be true then this one this statement is true right so it, it's a little bit harder with uh, existential uh, quantification to disprove it so we need to show that to show that existential uh, quantified proposition is false we need to show that qx is false for every possible value of x right because it says that just one right so we have to say that none right none of this would imply that so but in this case this this is can be shown uh, mathematically because x square equal x times x but this is larger than 2x for every x larger than 2 so we know that Q this is false right because there aren't any x uh, that that would satisfy this okay we will learn a little bit further about how to prove uh, this prove this kind of statement but for now let me conclude that uh, if you want to conclude uh, if you want to disprove this uh, existential quantifying proposition we need we need to show this we need to show that for all x uh, not qx is true okay and again to show that this is false is equivalent to, say, to saying that this is true right in the same way if we want to say that this is true we need to show that this is false now there are the again there are negation of each other all right so let me conclude this uh, discussion with this uh, equivalences okay we know that uh, from from the previous discussion um, the negation of uh, for all x p x so this is false if you can find some x such that uh, p x is false right the this claim this this statement claims that okay it's true for all x right then you need one guy to show that oh no it's not true for everyone there's some x that contradict this however if you want to say that uh, for some x p x is false it's a little bit harder because you need to show that for all x okay this is not going to be true right so this the negation of the quantified proposition is is going to be like this okay so before we move on let me give you one thing to think about okay now what exactly is this so what is the negation of uh, this quantifying uh, proposition with two variables let's uh, you should think about this uh, we will we will we'll practice in class all right all right so let's stop with quick checks six uh, you have after you work on quick checks uh, five you should have all the uh, all these statements in 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 the quantifying proportional forms so you should uh, from that you should you should uh, write down the negations okay and then translate them back to English sentence to see if it if the negation makes sense all right uh, all right, so this is the end of lecture two. I hope you uh, watch it before class. See you on Thursday.